radiation levels around the plant are dropping and inside the damaged reactor itself some of the conditions that at one time threatened to cause a catastrophic explosion are improving. The news comes out buried among the technical jargon in news briefings by Dr. Harold Denton who's been put in charge of operations here by President Carter. Fuel temperatures are still dropping. Yesterday there were no fuel assemblies over 500 degrees and only four over 400. Uh, this morning's temperature map indicates that there are only two fuel elements now reading over 400 degrees. I think it's certainly uh, reason for optimism. Uh, it's certainly going in the direction I'd like to see it. The schools here in Middletown are still shut down and the shop windows still carry instructions on what to do if an evacuation is ordered. But though many problems still remain, the worst of the crisis here appears to be over. Norman Rees, News at 10 in Middletown, Pennsylvania.